okay hole 10 is 492 uh, yards um, stroke index 8 uh, out of bounds on the right hand side there's two bunkers on the right um, we're off the um, the winter tees so we are 449 uh, to the centre ok let's try and uh, let's get this going So I found it um, in the trees. Uh, chicken is a nine iron. Just try and bump it out. And come out pretty, pretty okay into the into the centre. Um, so five iron. I absolutely cream that five iron. It's got to be one of the bestest clubs in my bag. Yeah, so uh, just short of the bunker, uh, going to use a 50, uh, 58, I've got about 68 yards in. Just comes up a little short. So here we go, trying to put through the uh, first cut. I'm not really keen on putting through this. But rather than blading it through the back, um, not a not a not my worst put, but probably not the best. Still left a good, uh, yeah, probably leaves a better five foot put. Um, this was just a complete misread, to be honest, and rushing. Okay, on to the 11th, um, yeah, par four. The uh, the green's just behind the trees on the right hand side in the background. It's a good hole, it's a good hole to play. Um, I think it's about 180 yards of like a little dip. So, so not the worst drive in the world. Um, but that dip uh, has caught me. So, um, yeah, now the audio has gone, so I'm going to have to talk over this one as well. The, so, I'm just going to use a 9 iron, just going to try and bump a 9 iron out to the middle of the fairway. We all love a good top. I don't know why I get so um, so so pissed off for myself. I mean, I'm a high handicap golfer. It's going to happen. Yes. Yeah, so the next shot, then we are about 180 yards um, from the centre of the green. Just going to try and use my uh, my wedge. Just trying to try and get it on there. I'm a little bit more to the left, as you can see on the right hand side with the overhanging tree branches. So I'm just going to try and bump a wedge on. Not bad. And then this was the best putt of the day. Give me a little celebration. Okay, on to the 12th. Uh, we're on a temporary green. Um, normally it's uh, 138 yards to the centre of the green, but the temporary one's about 100. Not a bad connection. Um, yeah, just a little bit short.
So I'm going to try and bump it on with a wedge, but I end up catching the ground. So, sorry, flicking my wrists. So I'm just going to try and put it in. Obviously an uphill put uh, and under it is. Okay, so the drive wasn't probably the bestest drive in the world, probably went about 100, 120 yards. Um, but yeah, this 5 iron, I absolutely caught this 5 iron and it went. Um, and then the next 5 iron was pretty solid. Anything with this one was that uh, I pushed it a bit right under the trees. So I'm just going to get my 9 iron and just going to try and just bump it through, try and get it into the centre of the green. Not a bad effort at all. Yeah, so I've got my wedge. Just see it dropping there, the uh, left hand side of the green. Not too bad. So now I'm just going to try and bump it on with uh, with a wedge. And then finish off with a nice putt. Okay, on to the 14th. Normally is uh, 129 yards. You can just see in the background where there's a light piece of grass. Uh, we're on temporary greens at the moment, pulled forward. Uh, but this par 3 is a real good um, challenging par 3. As you can see the green in the background, it's on, on a raised here. Uh, and there's bunkers, uh, pot bunkers all the way around the green. Um, it's In the summer it's a fantastic, uh, fantastic par 3. But yeah, so just come up to the left hand side. Um, just going to use my, uh, my wedge to try and bump it on. Not a bad effort, especially with the line that it was in. And just a complete misread. That's the thing about amateur golfers, you just rush, you rush into your shots, rather than, if you watch any of the pros or any of the experienced golfers, they'll take time lining up the putts, you know, they'll they'll spend a good bit of time working out the, the roll of the green, wherefore amateurs just rock up and just hit the ball. Okay, so the, uh, the 15th, yeah, I just, temper got the better of me on this one, and I've just hit it and smashed it out to the right. Just going to try and chip it back through. It's come through, but not a bad effort. Just got myself blocked out now with these overhanging uh, branches. But this 5 iron was absolutely solid. I'm loving the 5 iron at the moment. Definitely my favourite club. I might try and use it for putting. Uh, yeah, so wedge, can try and um, bump a wedge on. Just come up short. So not a bad, uh, not a bad put through that long stuff. So yeah, just left it about a foot and a bit, um, and then I do something really stupid. I leave it about an inch from dropping. Just to warm me up even more. <laughs> okay, on to the uh, 16th, 293 yards. Uh, there are bunkers up on the right hand side and the left hand side. Um, I'm just drop before before the bunkers. Not, not a bad drive. Uh, not my best, but not, not, not the worst. 
Okay, so just gonna use a wedge and then one of those worm burners come. Same again, just gonna try and bump a wedge up there, but not letting go and uh, not getting that previous shot. Still angry That's and blind it straight out of the back. I was thinking of uh, using a wedge and uh, bump on, but I thought rather than winding myself up, I'll just use the putter, which turned out to be pretty, pretty decent. Uh, and then just push that one to the left. There we go. I counted 17. I absolutely cream this driver. The best driver I've ever I did think I made it, made, it, uh, made the bunkers up there on the right hand side. Uh, but then I uh, managed to top. Oh, Look it over. So just going to try and bump a wedge on. I mean, the outcome wasn't that bad. I don't know why I keep off the ball. It's funny watching these videos back because you you can see yourself being a bit of a melon. Um, this put was a real good put. Well, it doesn't go in. It just left it short, about an inch and a half. Um, which for a high handicap golf is pretty uh, pretty bang on. Okay, on to the 18th. Nearly home. There are um, uh, bunkers um, and a mound, about 230 30, 30 yards, I think. I managed to um, push this one into the trees. This next shot um, that I do was quite, um, quite entertaining. So I can see a big massive gap in front of me. And just thinking, just get me five iron and just try and push the five iron through that gap. And believe it or not, the where the thick tree and the uh, skinny tree on the left hand side, somehow, that's a one in a million shot for me that is, I've got it straight through. So there are the mounds and the bunkers I was talking about, so just going to try a full wedge. and uh, end up coming a little bit short on the left. Tried to bump it on, <laughs> cut the ground first. Time to put it. Okay, confession time. Um, on the first video, uh, hole five, I ripped down that I got a six. Um, I actually got a seven. Uh, that was a mistake on my half. Uh, good spotting by Nath. Thanks, pal. Um, yeah, so as you can see, um, dropped it. Uh, so 32 over. Um, it is a par 71 uh, plus 32 shots. So unfortunately, 102 this time. Come back next week uh, as the battle is on for me to break 100.